So let's see what number I should pick from 1 to 20. Hello beautiful people, it's MJ here again for another new video and I just wanted to update you guys on some exciting things going on in my life real quick. Uh, don't want this to drag out too long but uh, if you watched my last video you heard about as far as my dating life goes. Uh, I was trying to meet up with someone and I wasn't sure if I should ghost him even though I always say I don't ghost people. Um, I did it. I actually ended up reaching back out to him, trying to just keep it going, even though I knew that he was like talking to too many people at one time because he, and for those of you who don't know, first of all, go watch that video if you want. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. But just a very quick recap, I was talking to this guy, he uh, like kind of got a little spacey and ended up, we ended up exchanging numbers. I messaged him. He needed me to send him a photo. So clearly he, he didn't remember like which person and he was remembering things that other guys were telling him, not me, but he was asking if it was me uh, that said that or something. So, you know, clearly some flags that it's not necessarily someone wanting a long-term thing that or they're just talking to way too many people at one time right now. Uh, which either way I didn't really care for but I did reach out to him uh, tried to you know be nice about everything and then <laughs> if you remember from the last video what we did talk about with food I'm not gonna go into detail on that go watch the last video but he ended up messaging back and like I said, well, I was trying to do these plans, but you didn't seem interested because you weren't talking about it. But his thing was that, well, I reached out to you so we could actually hang out, but he reached out to me like the day of, like right whenever he wanted to go out. He messaged me at like 10 something Sunday morning about brunch. Like he didn't even say anything about brunch. He was just like, hey, what's up? I'm like, I asked you to do plans today, which you never replied to. And so that's whenever I made that video to you guys. I wasn't sure what to do. I ended up reaching back out to him after the last video that I posted. And he was like, what's your favorite food? <laughs> uh, and like I said in the last video, that was like one of the only conversations we had was about what food we like. And... I ended up, I have to admit, I ended up not messaging him back because that, that was just like the last straw for me. I gave him literally two chances before and so that was like the third strike because it's like I had to send him a photo on top of everything. It's just like it was not working and then the fact that he asked me that whenever our whole like tender conversation before we exchanged numbers was on the food thing, like, yep. Okay, bye. <laughs> so I ended up just not messaging him bye. That, that really just irked me and bothered me. So don't talk to so many people at one time that you can't even remember details about which one that you had these conversations with because that's just setting you up for failure right off the bat because if I had gone out on a date with this guy and he asked me that, I totally would have called him out on it and been like, we talked about this on Tinder. I'm one of those people, so you never know, you might be going out on a date with me, someone like me, and they're going to call you out for it, and that's just going to be the end. Like, you just set yourself up for failure. That date's going to be awkward the rest of the time. Maybe I'm blowing it out of proportion, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, like, how you would have handled it. But again, this might not make much sense unless you watched my last video, so go check that out. I did want to let you guys in also that I mentioned in the last video on... A little bit of my career thing just a quick minute about it I have I think narrowed it down to three so I took the seven that I had left on the my, my career path so those of you in grad school you can probably relate with me a little bit on like trying to figure out exactly what you want to do even if you're not in grad school even if you're in middle school and like high school like these are things that unfortunately our society is pushing on you guys heavily to have to figure out so early I am looking at doing uh, business of science so going more on the business aspect of science related career paths uh, I'm looking at doing science policy so super excited about that uh, and then 
Of course, the, the big one, which isn't a surprise, I'm still looking at research and industry. So those are the three that I think I've narrowed it down to. I might reconsider a couple of other ones. There are one or two that were kind of on the fence. I definitely have it down to five, but those are looking kind of like my top three right now. Uh, so if you've been following me with this, thank you because it's been super exciting and I'll definitely still keep you guys updated on things like this going on in my life. Now to get to the fun stuff that some of you probably wanted to hear about the most. I might be getting a new puppy and I am so excited and nervous and anxious and just ugh, like so many emotions right now because first of all, I'm not quite sure if I will get the puppy. It is a corgi, which I am like so excited about because their butts look like little peaches and I just want to squeeze them. Like, <laughs> But they are so cute. So Lucky Rao Corgis, uh, a farm in Stephenville, Texas, is doing a raffle for a puppy of theirs, which is kind of a really cool idea. And this is something they kind of do off and on throughout. So they do this though because they know how expensive purebred corgis are. And it is a, like it is crazy. I was looking because as you guys know from other times that I've said in my videos, Mia has somewhat of some separation anxiety and I have tried so many things with her uh from like certain collars that are supposed to help her. I've even bought a pheromone diffuser that is supposed to help with dogs uh, who like kind of growl and bark at everything like she likes to do, um, but also helps with separation anxiety. And I've had her on medication from the vet before, which kind of helped, but I can't afford to get her medication for every single day and it's supposed to only be for transitional periods anyway so she was taking medication for a couple of weeks after we moved to this new location which I do think helped but long term wise not so much so I'm just like kind of running out of options I know there's like a thunder jacket that you can try to and things of that nature but none of it seems to work so I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and if I wanna keep her and like have her be happy and me be happy because it has been very stressful for me having a dog who is kinda so needy um, when, while I'm like a full-time grad student and also have a job on the side. So, you know, all these articles say how miniature schnauzers are great for people who aren't home very often, like they are independent, all this. I'm just like, I don't know what the heck you're talking about because my miniature schnauzer is not like that. Like I'm pretty sure Mia has neurosis. So I, like, I feel so bad for her and I'm not able to always be home for her. And when I am, she is stuck to me like glue. Like right now she's laying on the bed beside me. Like she is always beside me, which don't get me wrong, I love her to death, like, and I love it, but sometimes I need my own little space and I want her to just go be a dog and like go play or like go do something, but she doesn't know how to play with toys. And I've tried so many times, I've bought toys for her and just nothing that I seem to try to do works for her and I've reached a tipping point and I'm getting so frustrated and it's like, she's just so, different now than she was a couple years ago. Like, I don't know what's happened with her. She's just super anxious. Actually, I do have a good idea of what's happened to her. That's another video for another time. Nothing bad to her, but things that she's had to endure as being in a household uh, with other people. So I feel like that's kind of had a very negative impact on her. But long story short, I've said all of this to let you guys know that this has literally been my last resort because I know I shouldn't get two dogs, like I shouldn't have two dogs because that's just gonna be more stressful in some ways but I feel like it'll be less stressful in other ways because I feel like if she has someone to play with and to kind of be like a big sister for, I feel like she'll be happier having company in the house because most places we have lived have always had other dogs. But this is the first house where there's literally no one but me. And so it's been super hard on her and I am trying my best to be a good dad and a good father for her and I just don't know what else to do. So I have had in my mind to get a corgi 
for not too long, but they are so cute. But she loves corgis. For some reason, every time we go to Zilker Dog Park, she always ends up playing with a corgi. And so I feel like she has like a great natural connection with them. So whenever they posted, or whenever I was first looking for dogs, I was like going on Facebook groups and things like that because these big websites have them for like $1,800 which is like three times as much as I paid for Mia. And I cannot afford that right now. Um, that's a lot of money for a puppy. And puppies are a big investment on top of that, like put money aside. So it's kind of a lot. And But this farm, they raffle off a puppy here and there. It's a corgi farm, mind you. So they have tons of corgis and puppies um, that they sell. But they do this raffle for people who might not be able to afford uh, a corgi on their own, uh, but still want to have one. So it's a very nice gesture. But what they do is they have 20 slots that need to get filled and they get filled really quickly. So that's why I'm making this video because I think I'm going to enter the raffle and uh, each spot is $50. So it's not completely free. Uh, but it's a nice way to like, even though it's a chance, I'd much rather pay $50 for like a 5% chance that I'll get a Corgi as opposed to just having to splurge and just spend $1,800 on a Corgi. Um, so I am going to enter this, but I don't know what number to pick and they're filling up kind of quickly. So I'm going to experience with you guys going through this raffle and hopefully winning a dog again it's a very small chance but it is possible um so i am using the same app that i used in my facts about me video i've been referencing a lot of videos in this i wasn't planning on it but it's kind of funny how they all kind of tie together uh, but this vlog update kind of includes a lot of different areas in my life so that's why but I'm going to do this lucky draw and see what number to get. And then I'm going to select that number and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully win this beautiful baby Corgi. Her name is Smudge, which I definitely would change. Um, not that it's not a cute name, but I want to get a puppy and name her Leah. That way I have Leah and Mia or Mia and Leah. I'm not sure which one sounds better yet. But Leah is Greek for bearer of good news. And so I think that would be so, like, m such a metaphor for the reason why I'm getting her. And hopefully she would bear good news <laughs> uh, and, like, just bear good energy in general. Um, not only for me, but for Mia. So let's see what number I should pick from 1 to 20. Fourteen. Okay, so I am going to pick number fourteen on this raffle and enter. So hopefully number fourteen will be my lucky number, you guys. Crossing my fingers here. Please cross yours for me. Leave some comments below. Send me some good energy. Like the video. Please, 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 please. So I will update you guys whenever I actually enter and let you guys in and see whenever I have my name on the list. Hey guys, so as you can see, I've made my payment for my slot in the raffle. I'm super excited. And this is the Facebook page for the farm that I was talking about earlier in this video. And there's Smudge right there. She's so cute. Um, I'm scrolling down trying to find the raffle post. Uh, where is it? There she is. She's such a cutie. Um, oh, there it is. And scroll down my name. There I am, number 14, reserved for MJ. So wish me luck, you guys. Thanks again for watching this video today. I am, again, just so ecstatic about this uh, possibility of getting uh, a corgi. Either way, it will happen eventually, whether I win the raffle or not. So it's going to be a journey. Just might not be as soon as it could be if I got this raffle puppy. So thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, like this video, all that good stuff. Show me some love. Uh, I love you all. I'm very appreciative of the number of subscribers that I've gotten in a relatively short period of time. Just still trucking right along with this channel. I have so many ideas. I have such a long list of videos I need to make, uh, actually, uh, just from so many topics and things. So stay tuned. There will be more videos, I promise. Uh, and I hope I've earned your time today. 
and I will see you later. Okay, bye.